Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I am going to share one more bottle decoration project of mine. I love the mountains. I love going to mountains. So in this project, I have tried to make a small mountain on a bottle. If you enjoy the video, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. And now let's see how I transform the bottle and made a small mountain on a bottle. For this project, I first have made some mod pods by mixing white glue and water in equal proportion. Last week, I got this awesome looking blue colored bottle. I loved both color and the shape of this bottle. I could have either utilized the color or the shape of this bottle to transform it and I decided to go with the shape of the bottle. I pasted the tissue papers on the bottle using the mod purse that I made. Pasting the tissue papers on a bottle is one of the way to prime a bottle. Many of you ask me how to prime a bottle if you don't have primer or gesso with you then this is one way that you can use to prime your bottle. In this technique, the tissue paper is going to leave a textured surface on the bottle and we can work on this textured surface further. Once the tissue papers are all dried, you can see how a textured surface has been made on the bottle. And now that the slippery surface of the bottle is gone, we can work on the bottle. I wanted to get some mountain look on the bottle. Using aluminum foil is one of the easiest and inexpensive way to get a mountain like look. Here I have first squeezed the aluminum foil and have glued the foil on the lower part of the bottle. You can get as many layers of aluminum foil as you want. I made some more layers of aluminum foil on some portions of the bottle. Now you can see the lower part of the bottle is entirely covered with aluminum foil. Then I decided to have a small house on the upper part of the bottle. Here I have traced a structure of a door and a small window. Then I got some epoxy clay. As I said in my last video, this epoxy clay has two parts in it. One part is the resin part and the other part is the hardener part. I had to mix both of the parts in equal proportion to get my clay ready. You can follow the video to see how I made the doors and the walls of this house. This clay is easy to work with. To get a polished look, you just need to use some water on the clay. Then I made some small groups on the door to get a look of a wood door. Similarly, I made a small window. Then it was the time to make the walls. Making the wall was quite easy. I just had to use a thin layer of the clay. And then grouped some lines in the wall to get a brick look. Then 
then I wanted to make some steps using the clay. You can just follow the video to see how I made the steps. Then it was the time to make some borders for the door. Then it was the time to make the rooftop of the house. The rooftops are generally slanting in the mountains. So I have made a slanting rooftop using a aluminium foil and some clay. Then I wanted to have a fountain. So I made this base for the fountain. Then I wanted to get some more layers of aluminum foil, so I glued some more aluminum foils there. Then I glued some pebbles here and there on the bottle. These pebbles gave me a look of natural rocks on a mountain. Once everything was in place, I applied black gesso on the entire bottle. The black gesso will work as a base color. Also, this will work as a primer before applying acrylic color on the clay and the aluminum foil. I have got a tutorial video on how to make black gesso at home. In case you wish to make black gesso on your own, you can check the description of this video. I have given a link where you can find the instructions on how to make black gesso at home. Once the gesso was all dried, it was the time to color the bottle. You can have your own choice of color. I have got a grayish blue color by mixing dark blue, red and white shade. I have used dry brush technique here to apply the color in the bottle. then some green for the greenery on the mountain. A brown shade for the door and the window. A little of brown shade 
on the pebbles. A very little of white shade. Then again the original blue shade. A dark blue shade for the fountain. A small metal ring on the door. Then I made the fountain water using hot glue gun. It's probably the easiest way to make some water on a fountain model. Finally, I have applied some varnish on the bottle to protect the colors. Here I have used a matte finish decoupage glue as a varnish. And that's how I transformed my bottle. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll be back with some more interesting projects. Till then, happy crafting!